Ain't you sleepy, Dora? What are you waiting for? A falling star? Good night. Dora, are you all right? Who, what are you? Don't you recognize your wife, Carl? Dora, what happened to your, your... Shut up, words, Carl. As usual, this is my real appearance, my real voice. Dora was just by our nemesis. But now, the is over. You are saying that my wife is really a sort of alien. To make it simple, yes. I want you to become a xenologist, someone who studies life forms on different planets. So this is not the first time that you pass yourself as one of the local forms of life. I did that already on a dozen other planets. I've spent more time away than on my own planet. So you have been married with a dozen aliens already? Marriage isn't the only form of relationship. Other planets are generally more advanced. Earth is rather undeveloped compared to other civilizations, especially when it comes to personal relationships. Is it really so bad here? Well, nowhere else are relationships, so it does and can be monthly. On other planets, relationships are natural associations for mutual support between creatures that like each other. Here on Earth, they see more we'll focus on mutual exploitation, and too often they turn into the support between husbands and wives. So is that what our marriage felt like for you? A war? For me, it was just an experiment. Not much different than moving in a big style to know how it's been. I guess that means that you never loved me. Well, I'm not hidden. I don't know about love. So, now what? Why are you telling me all this crazy stuff? Usually I arrange things in a neater way, but it seems that now I don't have time for that. They're coming to take me away before the scandal time. Why? It seems that an asteroid has taken an unexpected love. It will impact but within a few weeks. Soon your feeble instruments will be able to detect it. What? An asteroid? What does it mean? It means there's going to be a major disaster on this planet. What we call a life extinguishing event. Just like the world that put an end to the age of the dinosaurs. And you can't do anything to help us? We only have small spaceships in the solar system. You're on your own. You'll have to deal with that asteroid by yourselves. But what can we do? I guess that you could try to put all those nuclear warheads to a good use. But that could happen only if you find a way to work together. I doubt that it will happen. Anyway, it's not my problem. Wait! Go to sleep. I have already removed any trace of my passage on this planet. Tomorrow, you will wake up with no memory of me, nor anything we talked about. But, but... 
So long, husband. Wow, what a nightmare. I don't know if the scariest part was the asteroid or being married. Ah, such a beautiful day. A sound like this can melt any nightmare. 